Well, hello everyone, Techsy88 here and welcome to week 13 of 52 as we look at the 13th game on the Sega Genesis Action 52 compilation brought out by Active Enterprises in 1993. And it's the third game in a row that uh, shares a name with one of the uh, games that appears on the NES version, Cheetah Men, which you may remember was the 52nd and final game of the NES compilation. So... It's clearly the same characters as in the NES version. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is going to be open to interpretation. Or it is given that it's Action 52 and there's usually nothing particularly special about a game on Action 52. Level 1. <laughs> Well, obviously, the graphics are a bit more, a bit more detailed. But again, we've got the same problem. The, 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 he's too close to the edge of the screen. And... Wait a minute! Didn't I see that bat in? Isn't that the same bat that was? In... Oh, for five! Isn't that the same bat that I saw in Haunted Halls? It certainly looks like it. Sorry, Haunted Hills. Sorry got my game muddled up is because it because it was haunted haunted halls on the NES equivalent. Oh see, this, see that's what happens when you're too close to the edge of the screen before it scrolls. And as it was the NES version there's a There's the same old problem there not being enough uh, fighting moves, or one of them. Oh, how was I supposed to know that thing was there? Level one. I'm going to go on, on and see if there's anything. I can go any further. And, uh, see, this is ridiculous. I'm, how was I supposed to know that was there? Because of being too close to the screen and that bat being behind the tree, I couldn't see it. This is, that is terrible design. And it's blooming hard to grab this vine. Grab it, you dinkler. Oh, for God's sake. The level, the game design in this is abysmal. Let's give that another go. Level one. Can I go up to here? Oh, oh, I thought it wouldn't let me do that earlier. Again, why are the enemies like that? Snakes and things making human sounds. Oh, it looks like I have to collect things that are in the trees. Oh, I can't go through the tree there. God, this is... Go up the... Ugh. Oh, God, alive. Don't tell me I got killed. Now, will that thing I collected, whatever it is, still be there? Or will I have to... So, I'm bloody hoping not. Yes, it is still there. So, if you die, you have to collect all those things again. It looks like a cage with a baby cheetah man. Falling damage, really? As if this game wasn't flipping annoying enough. Go up the bloody ladder. Well, you have to be in exact. It seems like you have to be in exactly the right place to go up the ladders and vines in this. Ridiculous! Oh God, alive! Level one. Oh my God, this is. Get! Will you get off the ladder? Level one. Oh my god, the game design in this is poor! 
Oh, for five minutes. I got a bit too eager there. Well, at least I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to be impatient. I just got to time this correctly. Go up the vine. first. No, I've got to wait for that. No. Oh, I'm worried about that bat though. I'm worried if I go to the right because of how close I am to the edge of the screen I'll come face to face with that bat which I will Oh for God's sake! This game is so tedious. This music really doesn't suit this game. Get up, get up the vine! Oh, piss off! That. What kind of chim cheating man can be killed by the, the edge of a wing touching his big toe? Oh, no. Oh, God. God, I thought Minor Willie had problems in Manic Minor. That's nothing good better. Oh, for crying out loud, your timing has to be immaculate as usual. You know, this is basically the same sort of thing as Haunted Hills, but so we're with, with different sprites. It's basically the same thing. Just as annoying, if not more so. Instead of collecting those ice cream sundaes, you're collecting what look, what look like the cages. Oh God, that was that snake was nowhere near me. Oh my word! Oh, flipping hell! No, I can't go that way. Go, no, go down. No, I can't just drop down because I'll die because of falling damage. So see, it's too close to the edge of the bloody screen. And I don't go on because, no. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I thought I was getting somewhere then. Oh my word. I'm getting really cheesed off with this. Oh, of course, I didn't have to go to the ladder. You can't jump off vines in this. jump onto them but you can't jump off them. <clears throat> Go down the vine. You just have to be so blooming precise with the vines and the ladders in this. Oh 
Oh, this is an annoying bit. Is that the rhino? <laughs> That's the... Come back here. Go away. I'm sure those are the same bats that were in the haunted hills. Oh, f again, what? They're, those are way too close to each other. Of course, I've got blue to get that first cage again. I'm not even going to bother going up there. I don't, I'm hoping I don't have to. I'm hoping I don't have to, but... Go on. See, all this problem because he's too close to the edge of the screen. I'm going to see if I can wrap it up. Oh, piss off! See, this is what happens when you have to line yourself up so absolutely perfectly with these damn vines. So persnickety. God, I thought I was going to die there. Oh, come on, that didn't touch me. Oh my word. This is just ridiculous. Oh my god. Those branches are too close to one another. And you're, you're too close to the edge of the screen to be able to see them and react to them in time. It's terrible design. Don't look the goddamn fine! Actually, I'm wondering if I need to go that way. That's another of those things. There's another. There must be some more. I'm presuming that. Oh God, go down the vine. He's too close to the edge of the screen. So I guess I am. I'll oh, kiss it. Oh, I'm not playing this anymore. This is bollocks. So that was the 13th game, Cheetah Men. Oh my god, that was a headache. Graphics, usual problem, although they're a bit better than some, they're still not up to standards for 1993 on a 16-bit machine. Animation's crap for the most part. Well, certainly it's not too bad for... You know, for things like the snakes, but things that actually run, like your character and those, the rhinos. It's not exactly uh, particularly astounding, is it? <laughs> Sound, you just get the, just get the usual um, human grunts and screams whenever enemies or you die, respectively. Which are basically the same sound effects as in some of the previous games I've looked at on this compilation, in particular Haunted Hills. Um, nothing particularly enthralling to write her home about with, with regards to that one.
but gameplay, well, what can I say? It's bland, it's unfair. You're too close to the end of the screen when it scrolls, so you can very easily get killed by something that, that you didn't spot in time. And the uh, fact you can get killed by the other because things can go behind the scenery, um, which makes the situation uh, with the being too close to the end of the screen even worse. And coupled with that, um, as in Haunted Hills, you have to time your attack immaculately. And going up and down the vines and ladders is a nightmare. If you're not absolutely perfectly aligned, uh, then the cheater man just won't uh, even go up or down them, depending on which way you're intending to go. It's just not fun. It's just frustrating and unfair. And that's a, this is a yet another game that, that's probably going to um, push the uh, overall mark back when I come to, to give my final verdict on the, after looking at the 50-second game. It's, I, don't, I don't think you'd want to play Cheetah Men for very long. It's, it's, just, it's just blatantly unfair and, and generally not particularly user-friendly. So now I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope to catch you on another one soon. Tech T88 out.